In the not-so-distant future, the world is at war once again. Nuclear war has destroyed most of our beloved Earth. Those who survive still fight a deplorable battle between good and evil. A battle of world power for some. But for our boys back at home in the good old U.S. of A., it's a battle for freedom. We will not stand idly by while these monsters destroy our beloved country. They may have brought the fight to our soil, but this is where it ends. This is where we make our stand. They will be met with fire and fury like the world has never seen. of our leaders in Washington, the states were split into separate militias. Each county found leaders and civilians that were ready to die to protect their beloved country against the Red Enemy. The most notable and beloved leader of free New York was Buck Morgan, an all-American hero. Buck was a gun enthusiast who owned a military surplus store in western New York. When the bombs fell, he supplied his county with the means to defend themselves against tyranny. But he didn't stop there. Charge! <laughs> Buck spread his militia all across free New York, taking back what was ours in the name of freedom. Buck Morgan restored hope in our country's future and paved the way for many followers to lead America towards victory. Until one fateful day where he came face to face with his most powerful adversary, the abomination created by the sadistic Red Army, the unsightly beast of a thousand nightmares, the terror of unfathomable evil, the post-apocalyptic Commando Shark. <laughs>
are no match for the great Soviet army. Today I may fall, but never underestimate the strength of the American people. We will rise from all of this. A great American hero dies, but the fight is far from over. So how's it coming, Marty? If I keep at it, get a new head gasket, flywheel, clutch, she'll be running in no time. So you're saying it's trash? Yeah, Cliff, this jugger's never gonna run again. Can I get you boys a beer? <laughs> no meatball! Stand down! So we're looking for a few good men in our fight against the Soviet army. Let me ask you, are you up for it? Well, Dante, my answer is better dead than red. Welcome aboard. It's okay. It doesn't even hurt that bad. Don't die on me, Meatball! Just give me some duct tape. I can still fight. He's gone delirious! Really? I'll be okay. What in the name of Sam Jackson is that? A deep blue commando shark? Sweet mother, the Jersey Devil. It's a damn shark commando. I'm not gonna make it. Save yourself. Fall back, I'll cover you! Not without Cliff! Победа! Чего ты кричишь? Let's call this a great finish to a glorious battle. You can take my life, but don't take my meatball. Your friend is Chum. <laughs> take the other one as a prisoner. We will torture him for information of the American militia. Hidden away in a mysterious lab, American scholar Dermot Jackson Washington tests new formulas and hopes to create his own superhuman soldier for the American side. Agatha Hudson, what a sight for normal guys. Welcome to my laboratory. Hello Dermot. Have your experiments uh, provided any new discoveries that might be useful to our troops? Unfortunately, 
Everything has fallen short thus far. While experimenting on human and canine DNA has been met with moderate success, I have yet to meet the standards that I had hoped to achieve. Where lies the success of said experiment, Doctor? Why don't you ask old Bruno over there? You want me to ask a dog about the experiment? Are you feeling all right? Have you, have you fallen ill from being cooped up here too long? Alone in this lab, Doctor? Should I send word for help? I'm feeling hungry. Can I have a treat? Did that dog just talk? Precisely. That is what I am trying to tell you. Old Bruno there can talk just like you or I. However, he is as dumb as a bag of marbles. I could really go potty soon, too. But I'm more concerned about eating. Can I have that treat now? Where's my ball? Have you seen my ball? Sweet potatoes. While creating a talking dog has made it much more simpler for taking care of him, I have failed to meet the likes of the Soviet Shark Commando. I need to find the missing link between brains and brawn. Ball? Did you say ball? I said brawn, Bruno. Brawn. Have you seen my ball? I have not seen your ball, Bruno. And if it goes underneath the couch again, I am not going to get it. Now leave me alone! I am very busy here! Tell the woman to get my ball. I am not going to tell Agatha Hudson to get your ball. Ball? Where's my ball? Oh, can you see my frustration, Agatha? Step away from that woman, soldier. Whoever said sharks don't like the taste of human flesh clearly never met me. <laughs> Not another move, tuna breath. Or I'll pop ya. I'd really like to sink my teeth into you. Do you think you can kill me before I fit you in my jaws? Why don't we find out? I don't think you have the guts. <laughs> I got plenty. Prove it. Show me what they look like. <sighs> For the motherland. of Hornet Squad and tell them we need reinforcements. Sergeant, we split up with Hornet Squad about 10 clicks back. They're MIA. Damn it! These commando sharks are tearing our army apart! Uh, I'll try to reach them again, sir. Ah, don't even bother. They're all dead. I could just feel it right here. What are your orders? My orders? Put your head between your legs and kiss your ass goodbye. Sir! No, don't do that. Get to HQ. Tell them we need air support immediately. Yes, sir. Oh. Sir, your orders. Um, I I was listening. I just I forgot. I gotta write it down. Are you serious? Call HQ. Thank them for their support. No, you moron. I said call HQ. Tell them we need air support. Air support. I'm sorry. You know I I need breakfast today. Uh, I'm just not thinking right. You can't skip breakfast. What's the first thing that Uncle Sam taught you? It's the most important meal of the day. hoo -ah! Please leave. I'm leaving. Corporal. Sir. I hate you. Sorry. Oh, this is exactly why we're losing. Somewhere away from the battlefield, 
Some of the Surviving Youth of America, Debate World Politics and the War. I mean, screw the Russians, bro. I mean, they want to come here and try to fight me? I'll take them all out. You just wait and see. I just go to the whole country and just waste them all, bro. Dwayne, you can't blame an entire country for what their military is doing. I can blame whoever I want to, Chip. Right, this is America. And for now, I'm still free. Well, Dwayne, I'm just saying, when the war started, it affected everyone. New people rose to power, and some bad dudes took over the military. But I'm willing to bet you, the average Russian is just like you or me. Whatever, bro. If it's up to me, I would just hit a button, and I would kill them all. Bro. You can't have double standards like that, Dwayne. That makes you just as bad as the rest of them. Shh. Listen, Roxy. Can't you see? The men? We're talking. Wow, yeah, and here you are, talking, such a big game, while our own people are fighting a war, defending us and our right to be free. It's pretty big words coming from someone who's sitting at home, safe, away from any real threat. I mean, what is it? Is it that time of the month? Because you're acting like a real B-I-T-C-H. <laughs> yeah, bro! That's right! Woo! Back off, Dwayne. She has the right to an opinion just like you. Whatever, dude. I'm just gonna get up, take a whiz. Because I don't care what you think. You think. I like you, bro. Woo! I suppose you make up for that little thing with your large ego. Holy mackerel. Nah, I'm a shark. Dwayne? Ah! Do you mind if I join you for a bite? <laughs> hey, where are you going? What do you want from us? Simply to fertilize the earth with your human blood. Would, would you settle for a kidney? No thanks, I just filled up on your comrade over there. Oh. What about a belly full of lead? Huh? Oh my god, you saved us! Just doing my job, protecting America. One Soviet shark at a time. What's your name, sir? I'd like to know the name of the man who saved us. It's Marty. Marty Warbuck. Be safe, fellow patriots. What a hero. Did you piss yourself? I suppose I did. Yeah. God bless America. What's your name for the camera? I am Sergeant Dante Buchanan of the New American Resistance Force. Where is the Resistance Base located? We are everywhere. You cannot defeat us. You cannot stop us. Damn! What are you doing? What is that? That is true serum. You'll be forced to tell me what I want to know. Then I'll say nothing. Then you will die. Death before dishonor. You have no choice. You'll be singing like a songbird once the serum kicks in. It's best not to fight it. Damn you. Tell me where to find your American allies. My name is Sergeant Dante Buchanan of the New American Resistance Force. And I will not answer your questions. More serum. Answer your questions. What is your favorite color? Green. Do you prefer dogs or cats? Dogs. Oh, son of a... Where is the resistance base located? We are everywhere. 
more serum, doctor? No, no. We don't want to kill him. Yet. What is your favorite food? Cheeseburgers and fries. Darn it. Very American. Where is the bass? <laughs> guitar center. Not bass guitar. More specific. Right, right. If I was driving around here on Main Street and uh, decided to stop for a coffee at a local cafe and then uh, suddenly realized I left my wallet back at the resistance base, how would I go about getting back there? Well, you see, you go down Main till you hit West Ave and then about two miles past Saunders, you get to the old church, hang a left and go four miles off the beaten path. There's a new resistance base. You can't miss it. That worked! It really did. <laughs> you can continue with a little bit of torture, whatever floats your boat, Sharky. I might just skip right to the part where I'm eating him alive. Really, it's your call from here on out. So I'll do as you please. I appreciate it. Thank you, Doctor. You're very welcome. Enjoy now. You won't get away with this. You've been a wonderful guest. As my Russian counterparts would say, Paka. So you're gonna eat me? Yes, most likely, I think. Well, that's reassuring. Did you prefer I let you go? Yeah, if I had a choice in the matter. You don't. Damn. Yeah, that bites. So you do bleed. You'll never stop us. There are more. We are a collective of sharp commandos. When one is in danger, it is like blood in the water to the rest. They will find you and kill you. Then I shouldn't waste any more time. I heard the shot! He must not be far! Find him, and kill him! You can't hide forever, shot killer! I will find you! <clears throat> not if I find you first! Sweet dreams. Russian soldier number one, do you copy? I repeat, Russian soldier number one, do you copy? Still no answer. Why are you calling him like this? Why are you not calling him by his name? Shut up, Russian soldier number two. You are all expendable. You are hurting my feelings. Enough. I have name, you know. It's Valerie. I refuse to call you that. Why you gotta be so... I said enough, number two. Boroslav! It's Valerie! Give it to me! Do you copy? Give it to me! No, Mr. Bully Shark Man! <laughs> Boroslav, do you copy? Ani Warbuck managed to narrowly escape the Soviet jaws of death, so he moved onward towards the new American Resistance Force base camp in Free, New York. There he had hoped to tell his brothers in arms of his latest discovery.
I'm telling you, there's more than one superhuman shark out there. Each one of them leads their own assault group. They're all linked together like the freaking Borg or something. Well, thank you, Mr. Idiot. But we already know that. I hope you didn't have to travel too far down Moron Lane to find us and to tell us that load of horse manure that we're already aware of. That would be embarrassing. Why do that? I didn't... I thought... How'd everybody else know? I'd expect a candy ass like you wouldn't listen to the news, now would you? Well, I didn't think they were still broadcasting on television after the bombs. Oh, son of a motherless goat. But you are the dumbest rat turd in the whole damn world. And you're fighting on our side. Oh, thank the baby Jesus. <sighs> Why's he so mean? Don't take it to heart, kid. He's a tough nut to crack. Y'all ain't got radios out where you're at, kid? Most of the news is getting out that way. Hell, the internet still works. I didn't think to check, I guess. I'm not gonna lie, I feel pretty dumb right now. Good news is, I killed one of them. <laughs> one? <laughs> I've got six. I keep one mounted in each of my favorite rooms. Just being one of them. Don't feel bad, kid. The core is proud of you. <laughs> oh yeah, you just happened to wander yourself into a place with far superior human beings and now you're acting like you're the bee's knees. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry kid, I'm coming off as a bit of a jerk. Keep up the good fight and you're doing just well. Gee, thanks. Son, the country is proud for your service. You should grab a gift bag on the way out, complimentary grenades inside. Wonderful, I just ran out. Bye-bye now. And so Marty's epic journey had led to a discouraging chapter. He would now walk aimlessly into the unknown, unsure of his future, and without a friend or companion by his side. In this moment, he knew what it felt like to be truly alone. Are you kidding me? Until we meet again, fearful hero. Ladies and gentlemen, I have gathered you here together to discuss our plans on destroying the Soviet opposition. We will not go quietly as these scumbags try to take over our beloved country. We will sneak behind enemy lines and cut straight to the heart of their command. We will infiltrate their base of operation and destroy it from the inside out. They won't even know what hit them. We will bring the battle right to their doorsteps. We have located the... Don't interrupt me when I'm talking, son. You'll get your turn. But it's important. I was just curious as to what your plan was if the enemy already have achieved these things you say and we're standing inside your base with their weapons trained on you. Oh boy. How the hell did they get past us? Did I fall asleep? Well, young man, if the Reds are here, as you say they are, as they most certainly appear to be, I would have them know that we Americans don't die without a fight. Explosive personality. I'm kind of sad that you didn't get to know him better. He seemed like my kind of chum. 
I'm in for five dollars and buy one get one chicken fried chicken <laughs> well since your coupon holds no value whatsoever I'll see your five dollars and raise you 100 in caps <laughs> oh, oh. well played sir well played <coughs> oh Hey guys, do you uh, do you have some duct tape I could borrow? Yeah, there's some in the other room and a drawer into the microwave. Thanks, I I appreciate it. Oh man, Are you feeling okay? It's not that bad. I'll be all right. Really? Cause it kind of looks that bad. It's all right. I'll be okay. <laughs> okay, dude. Whatever you say. You know, those those megala douchebags. They did me like Delilah did Samson. And they shaved me. And then they waterboarded me with shark caviar. Oh. I'll be right back, guys. Oh, man. What do you got? Leave your weapons here before entering! I don't think so. Any last words, suckers? Don't shoot! Ah! Barbecue sauce and cheap beer. <laughs> American scum. Come on, let's get out of here. I'm so sorry. You think I would have heard all this happen from the other room? <sighs> the American Resistance Force suffered a huge loss today as our top secret base of operations in western New York, which I may add was cleverly hidden off Route 31, was ambushed by the Red Army. Among the casualties were General William Spark, Sergeant Diane Packard, Captain Bubba Dick Henry, and some other background soldiers just trying to make their way in this dog-eat-dog -dog world. While the enemy is still at large and slaughtering our boys in great numbers daily, we will not give up on the fight for freedom. In other news, 
Our top secret base on Goat Island in Niagara Falls has not been detected by the enemy and will be our main point of operations from here on out. Godspeed, my fellow Americans. I was just there. Must have narrowly escaped with my life. If only I could have saved their lives from the cold, clammy hands of evil. Just be happy you're still alive, Marty. You're one of the lucky ones. You know, no, I just wonder how they found out about the base camp. Now, is our new headquarters in Go Island going to be safe? Nelson, unless the Russians own a radio, there's no way humanly possible they could even know about it. You really don't think they're listening to our radio frequencies? Don't be an idiot, Marty. Ruskies can't listen to our stations from Russia. Moron. <laughs> well, they're invading our country. Don't you think they could just grab a radio and... No, no, no. Damn it, Marty. Alfonso is our leading expert psychologist on, uh, on Russian behavior. Just listen to his knowledge. Forgive me, Nelson. I just think it's cut and dry. Then. I have a freaking degree, knucklehead. From where? I took an online course. Nothing your small brain could comprehend. Dick potato. <laughs> online course? Why would I doubt your credentials? Was it from you, dummy you? Yeah, I, I never heard of that school. It was offered through the KGBU. And what in the F is that? The knowledge of getting brighter university. You, sir, are being brainwashed by Russian hackers. No, you, sir, are a conspiracy theorist. Gentlemen, whoa, whoa, whoa. We have enough trouble in the wall right now. No need to fight each other. Wait, wait, what? News. We've just received word that since our last report, the Red Army has dropped heavy airstrikes down on Goat Island. The results of the tragedy are still unknown, but we are expecting heavy casualties. Need I say more? What a strange coincidence. Sure is. Thanks for throwing this party, Jimmy. I was just gonna stay at home and drink the bottle to the end. Can't do that by myself. But I'd much rather be doing that in a company of friends. No problem, Stacy. I feel like the only patriotic thing I can do when the whole world is at war is throw a party, drink amongst friends, and maybe blog my personal uneducated experiences about 10 beers later. You're a real American hero, Jimmy. Thanks, Pat. Want a wiener? Wanted it for years. There's a little bit of gay undertones when you said that. Such an oddball. At the end of the world, I just thought I'd be honest. What a riot. Never mind. Cool. Slow, slow. slow. Oh. oh. This guy never quits. So, Jimmy, what are you doing later on tonight? After I blog, I usually just go right to sleep. Well, would you like some company? I prefer to blog alone. It's really hard to write with someone standing over you. Well, what about after that? I don't have a spare bed in my place, and I already promised the couch to someone else. But if you drank too much, you could always sleep in the garage. I think you're missing the point. I'm gonna ask Pat. Hey, what can I do you for, pal? I'll take a hot dog and cheeseburger and... Can you serve me up a human slathered in barbecue sauce with some beer battered pompous douchebag? We don't serve people here. I mean, we serve people, but not on the menu. Hmm. Maybe if I walk you through it, you'll change your mind. What are you doing? These are civilians. I'm about to school you in thin dining, my comrade. White meat is jawsome. Oh, 
bomb, boom, boom. Bottoms up! Oh man, I think I got a buzz when I bit into that one. of a war, I do not have time for this. Sir, I was sending Snapchats back and forth with my cousin in the United States when he sent me disturbing news. All news is disturbing news. Well, except for the good news, often that is very good. Go on, Conrad, get on with the punchline. It turns out our shark commandos are not just killing the American resistance. They are also slaughtering civilians. When we dropped nuclear weapons on America, it was never my intention to harm innocent civilians. Killing innocent people goes against everything this war is being fought for. Is it though? I mean, if, if you think about it, I, I, I mean, when you created the super commandos, you made them to wipe out... To the... wipe out the American scum. There is no place in this world for a post-apocalyptic commando shark who feeds on the fresh of perfectly innocent, succulent American booty. Send word for the man responsible for creating these treacherous creatures. I need to speak with him immediately. After I catch up on the next episode of Ray Donovan, <laughs> the last one was a cliffhanger. Yes, Wolfgang, I will send you a message with haste. Dermot Jackson Washington rummages through years worth of paperwork, hoping to uncover his mistakes and rectify his failed experiments. Blast these infernal experiments! What's wrong? Why are you throwing things? Oh, Bruno. I don't expect you to understand. Stand? I don't want to stand. I want to sit. Of course you do, Bruno. You poor simple dog. <laughs> is falling apart, and our beloved country is being invaded by superhuman sharks, and with all my brilliance and education, all I've come up with is this feeble-minded talking dog. I'll choose to forgive you for that, seeing as you're not thinking clearly because you're angry. Eureka! Bruno! Wait, what? I've been going at the equation all wrong. I've done all my experiments on a canine host when I should have been testing on a human host after all. Goody, goody, gumdrops, I've solved the equation. Hot diggity dog. Jumping jelly beans. Jiminy Christmas. That sure was a humdinger. Ziggity damn. Heavens to Betsy. Bingo. Now you're talking. I'll be doggone. The only question now where do I find a human host? The only other question is, when do we eat? Soon, my furry friend, very, very soon. Not only will we taste the sweet success of victory, but we will also see if there's any post-apocalyptic pizza places that still deliver. You're a genius! And soon the rest of the world will know that we are on the brink of liberation, Bruno. 
Marty Warbuck and his new companion Alfonso Itani searched for a fight against the Red Army under the cover of the woods. Blood was in the water, and this time America was the shark searching for its prey. What's the plan, Marty? We're apparently on our own in the shark-infested country we call home. Well, the plan is... Find those Soviet dirtbags, send them back to hell where they came from. When we're done with those scumbags, there will be no vacancy in hell. Quiet. You hear that? Sounds like... Russians! It's hammer time! Don't even think about it. Damn dirty, rotten, vodka stench ruskies. They didn't need to die. But they chose to. All this killing can make a man go insane. Sometimes I wonder who I am when I do what I have to keep doing. Nobody ever said killing came easy. I just try to think of every American life I might have just saved by vanquishing the Red Enemy. And that, Marty, that gives me peace. God bless America. Ain't that the truth? We should keep moving. There's probably more Red Army around. And with this small victory, Marty Warbuck and Alfonso Atani brought America just one step closer to winning the war against our deranged enemy, what some men call the Red Devil. Hello, my liege, and welcome to America, the land of diminishing freedoms. To what do I owe the pleasure of the great Wolfgang Sokolov entering my lair? Perhaps you're here to congratulate me of my recent successes. Quite the contrary, Doctor. Well, I find your experiments a smashing success. I grow suspicious of your intentions. My intentions are only to please you, my master. I created these super sharks to do your bidding. Tell me what it is I can do differently, and I will surely do the best I can to gratify your requests, my fearless leader. Well, I wanted to conquer this world and the rule of this country. I did not want it to be at the expense of innocent lives. That is strange with the whole nuclear war and all. Why does everyone keep saying that? I only wanted to nuke the bad guys, not kill everyone in the whole country. Well, you can't really pick and choose. Whatever. I am not a scientist. That is besides the point. Which is? I want the slaughtering of civilians to stop. <sighs> These sharks, uh, they can't really be told what to do in such ways. You programmed them. They only do what you ask. Otherwise, we would all be dead. You see, you're missing the bigger picture, Wolfgang. They do only kill whoever I command them to, yes. And they are sparing your Russian army for now. For now? Yes. But, you see, I am not a Russian. I am a simple German doctor, doing work for the Russians. And we appreciate what you have done for us in this war so far. But, it must end. I'm afraid it only ends the way that I write this story in history, you poor buffoon. Excuse me? You see, while I have been mass-producing these shark commandos, you've been annihilating the military in both America and North Korea. Now we are slowly becoming the greatest power in the world. For the greater strength of the motherland. For now. But as soon as I flip this switch, my shark army will turn on the Soviet scum and I will become the ruler of the new world. You'll never get away with this. Who will stop me? You? What have you done? I have injected you with my experimental shark DNA. While the original was designed to be put in sharks, I created another drug that works on humans as well. It takes longer, but it has the same result. You mean... 
Within eight hours, you will become a shark commando, ready to kill or die for me at the push of a button. Impossible! So very possible, Wolfgang. Each shark man is injected with a microscopic chip that gives me complete control of their actions. With this device, I can program who they attack and adjust their aggressiveness. But if they were to turn against you... I've put a kill switch in the remote just in case. Uh, which button is that? Uh, the big red one? Stop asking me questions! Yes, the red one. I was just curious. If you have family, now would be the time to say your goodbyes. You're a monster! Soon you will find that you are the monster. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, you got any change? I'll tell you what, if you come back to my lab, I will give you $20, a pizza, and let you take a shower. Oh. What do you say to that? One rule. Anything. <laughs> no sodomy? Sure, I can assure you, I am a gentleman. Oh. That was never in the plan. Oh, then count me in. <laughs> well, come this way. Oh, yeah. Happy days are here again. Happy days. Mm, this is some damn good pizza. I can't believe they still deliver. Oh. I know, quite mind boggling, isn't it? <sighs> oh, thanks for this. You know, it's hard to find someone who'll help out an old homeless guy without any ulterior motives. <laughs> <laughs> ulterior motives, right. Well, whenever anyone says there ain't any good people left in the world, well, I can tell them they're wrong. <laughs> of course. Say, can you do something for me? Oh, sure, man. <laughs> Anything for a friend. Mm. I'd like to inject you with some canine DNA, stem cells, a hint of strange chemicals that I derived from a scientific formula that you wouldn't understand even if I explained it to you. Mm, what's it gonna do? It's gonna turn you into a superhuman wear dog, where at my command, you would defend America from its enemies. I don't have anything else going on, so... Sure, I guess. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Brilliant! I can't believe you suckered someone into letting you do it. I thought you would have had to drug him. <laughs> Wait, did you drug me? I, I think that dog was talking to me. Shut up, Bruno. Don't pay attention to that dog. He's just messing with you. Okay. Uh, so we can do this before my shower? Ow! 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 Yeah, you should have said go or something. It surprised me. Ow. Are you feeling any of the effects yet? No, I don't think so. Do you want a biscuit? I may be homeless, but I am not an animal. Ah, <sighs> my life's work's all been for nothing. I wouldn't say you spent your entire lifetime trying to turn a man into a were-dog. Shut up, Bruno! I was trying to be dramatic. He's taking on the characteristics of a canine. Ruff, ruff, ruff. But he hasn't started the transformation yet. Now's probably a good time to say that whole bit about your experiment being a waste. Shut up, Bruno! He's rolling. You're alive. Hello, people of the world. If anybody is listening, my name is Wolfgang. Sokolov. I am the Marshal of the Russian Federation and appointed leader of the reinstated Soviet Army. I have written this letter to you, the people, to understand me and the things I have done. I am a troubled man. 
that has made a huge mistake by overthrowing my own government and commencing this nuclear war I have destroyed so much of the world that was still good I had hired a German scientist named Siegfried Schroeder to create these post-apocalyptic shark commandos my plan was to crush the military and government presence in America and so on for the rest of the world I dreamed of a united world, all serving under the Soviet flag. But my dream soon became a nightmare. Once I discovered that Schroeder was slaughtering innocent civilians and had full power over the Shah commandos, I confronted him. He has injected me with a virus that will transform me into one of his mindless shark drones. My time left here is limited. So, I beg you, whoever is listening to stop Schroeder and end this war, he alone holds a device capable of stopping these creatures. He is currently located in Western New York. Here is a picture of us together, so that you may identify him. Stop the scientist. Save the world. Your cell phone still works? Yes, Marty. Is this another run-of-the-mill nuclear war? You act like the world ended or something. Well, I mean, it kind of did. There's a lot of stuff in the tank. I can't even watch my stories on cable anymore. Why is that the most important thing you want to talk about? Did you not just watch this video with me? Wolfgang Sokolov just informed us that the key to ending this war lies right here in our general area. How do we know that's not lies? How do we know it's not a trap or something? They already have the upper hand. What would it benefit him giving us the information he just did? Think about the facts, Marty. Well, if you were some evil scientist with a secret lab, where would you hide? If I was an evil scientist, bent on destroying society, and I was just revealed to the world, I'd probably go into hiding. Well, if you were an evil scientist that wanted the fame of starting the biggest war in all of history, then where would you hide? So I'll check online and see what's trending. Well, if I had to guess, I'd say he's probably out there creating some sort of... Gargantua shark! <laughs> Do you see it, Dilbert? Do you see the monster I have created? Yeah, master! It's beautiful! <laughs> Nobody can stop me now. The world is my oyster. My enemies will crumble before me. <laughs>
Shut up, bad human. Stop. Something bad is happening. Talking shark man. Come on. Oh! What are the odds that I'd create that shark repellent as soon as the killer shark man entered my lab? And how convenient that he left his gun leaning on the wall instead of just shooting you. How that series of events happened to play out so well, and just in the nick of time, is beyond even my comprehension. Hello, Agatha. I think I've stumbled across something that could change the pace of this war. Come quickly. We have sharks to kill. Bruno, stop licking that! I found it! What is it? I was following trending videos on social media, and I just came across this video of a giant land walking shark! Jumping jaguars! That thing is huge! I think this evil scientist just created a far bigger threat to this war than just commando sharks. You're telling me there's a shark of megalodon proportions crushing and eating its way through New York? That's exactly what I'm saying, Marty. And I know the exact location of this building is just level. Let's go. There's no time to waste. Let's rock and roll, baby. It's fishing time. I have a shark to kill. Let's kick some monster fin. Dude, stop trying to one-up me every time I drop a good one-liner. I like one-liners too. What's the big deal? There's no one around here anyway. Well, it's just kind of my thing. And I feel like you're kind of taking that from me. I didn't know. I'm sorry. It's fine. Let's just go. Bring me sharks or bring me death. Dude! My last one, I swear! United forever in friendship and Wolfgang, are you all right? I am turning into one of those creatures. How can you be sure? <coughs> I am transforming. What, what can I do to help you? There is nothing. Anyone can do. It is too late for me. There must be something. I hope that when people look back in the history, they will not remember me as the monster I was or the monster I will be. You are a good man deep down inside, sir. People will know that. Then shoot me in the head. End my suffering. I, I can't do that. I am sworn to protect you, comrade. Then give me your pistol. Let me do the job myself. Please. You are going to get through this. Everything is going to be fine. Oh. I wish that were the case. Hey, come quickly. I watched this video, saw that it created a gargantuan shark that is leveling cities with its current body. I'll come in a minute, I'm checking on Wolfgang. Holy peanut butter and crab sandwich, it's even eating us ration! Nobody is safe! Just pause it, I'll be there soon! Wolfgang? You should have killed me, when you had the chance. Hey! You're not looking so 
well, Wolfgang. Shark repellent is going to save many lives. My pleasure, Agatha. Yes, well, the Russians have just signed a peace treaty and we're one step closer to taking down those shark devils. We couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, Agatha. With enough repellent, we might even be able to take down that gargantua shark that is currently terrorizing New York. Orangutan shark? Gargantua shark is an enormous shark that can breathe out of the water and is flopping around the city, eating civilians, and wrecking everything in its path. Hmm. How curious. Indeed. Narf? New American resistance force. Well, it's just that it reminded me of Pinky and the Brain is all. Anyway, uh, old Bruno is sweating it out in the car. I don't want to keep a hot dog waiting. No, you shouldn't. Thank you again, Dermot for your service to our great country. If there's ever anything you need, please don't hesitate to ask. Well, I could use a new vehicle. Mine barely passed inspection last time. Within reason, Dermot. Uh, you make it sound so insincere when you say it that way. Anything? Don't you have a dog to check on? Yes, I do. Farewell. Okay. Oh. Goodbye, Dermot. Good, no, goodbye, Dermot. That's inappropriate. Run along now. Thank you. Until we meet again, peculiar little science man. Sorry. It's okay. As the story nears its dramatic conclusion, our heroes face their evil foes on the battlefield. On their way to fight the evil scientist Siegfried Schroeder, Marty Warbuck and Alfonso Atani recruited help from any American willing to lend a hand along the way. Our whole lives has led up to this moment, people. The outcome of what happens today will define us for generations. This is the day we stare tyranny in the face. We say, go back to the hell you came from, tyranny. This is our country. Let's show them what it means to be American. Do you think this small band of misfits are capable of fighting my gargantua shark? The very thought of it is complete puppycock. You don't stand a chance against my monster. They might not, but I will. I built my trusty shrink ray years ago to help me transfer loads of surplus supplies back and forth to my lab. I am a bit of a hoarder. And when Agatha Hudson told me about a giant shark creature 
destroying our city. I figured I would come and check it out. Coincidentally, I brought my shrink ray with me. It is always in the glove compartment. A shrink ray? How convenient. Quite. I could have you shot now, though I am curious to see if you are bluffing. So, I will hesitate just long enough for you to test your shrink ray, and then I will doltishly watch as the next events unfold. I don't know what to make of that, but here we go. we've eradicated the rest of these American vermin. I would like to talk to the brilliant scientist and pick his brain. He is now a prisoner. Yes, sir. Now that the threat of the giant shark- Gargantua shark! Forgive me. Now that the threat of the Gargantua shark is over, let's show these apex predators how to bleed. Open fire! Kill them all! Oh, snap! Take cover! for me. Not cool. Poor Dilbert. Air support was a nice touch, I'm not going to lie. It's over, Schroeder. You no longer have Russian support. Your shark army is as good as chum. Surrender now. We'll see you have a proper trial. All good things must come to an end, I suppose. Schroeder! Wolfgang! He had to save me, I presume. Ah! Alfonso, no! He was a shark! Don't judge all sharks by the actions of a few. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I thought. How did you resist my orders? You made a fatal mistake, Schroeder. You told me that you injected me with a microscopic chip, which gives you complete control of me at your command. So I removed the chip with a knife and a lot of painful digging. I shouldn't have told you that. I just wanted someone to know how brilliant I was. It was a great twist on your part. And yours. It's the whole digging the chip out thing. Very clever. Don't oh, Likewise. I see a bright light. I suppose this is the end. Funny. All I see is darkness. Check the scientist's pocket for a remote. The red 
button is a kill switch for the rest of the shark army. It's over. I think you're right. Did I really show up late for the grand finale? Oh, sorry, I didn't see him there. Bruno, you fool! No pause, Dicky. Please forgive me, he must have gotten into my formulas. Let me go find the shrink ray, and I'll take care of this problem. Stay put, Bruno. Okay. It's been a very strange week. You can say that again. It's been a very strange week. I didn't mean you should literally say it again. And why did you say it? It's a figure of speech. You're a figure of speech. I'm gonna figure my fist in your speech place. Well, I'm gonna figure my face in your fist and break it with it. I never liked you. I never liked you more. Medic. And so our courageous heroes fought valiantly to restore the country back to the American people, while the rest of the world ordered a ceasefire and were forced to sit in the corner and think about what they did. Marty Warbuck and Alfonso Watani might have been small fish in a large stinky pond, but they proved to the rest of humanity that even one or two small, seemingly insignificant individuals can still make a substantial impact if given the motivation to try. America thanks you, Marty and Alfonso, and all the other brave Americans that fight to protect our beloved country every day. Until we meet again, I bid you farewell.
Hello, Resistance Fighters. This is your host, DJ Guerrilla Warfare, bringing you the latest news and the hottest tunes on this side of New America. We'll be right back after a short break from our sponsors. Freedom Radio AM, your source for Resistance Force News.